want to be a VTuber. I want to be a VTuber. So here's a tutorial on how to be a VTuber if you are a total loser. Just like me. Step number one. The desire. Keep in mind that you have the want to become a VTuber and nothing going to stand on your way because you're going to regret this decision really, really soon. Step number two. The philosophy. So here's the main question. Who are you? Who am I? Understand me clearly. There is a lot of VTubers with some speciality. They have a lot of cats, a lot of sea animals, and even the scariest SCP was created in this world ever. I'm fine. So, who am I from this list? Sometimes I am a vampire, sometimes I am a cat, sometimes I am a devil who going to come in your sleep. So the star with a wish was created and sent to the earth. She was a universe. The nothing at all and everything at the same time. The matter that nobody going to understand. The matter that everybody seen. And yet... Yeah, <laughs> now I love that. They have the perfect idea for VTuber. I am the universe. The everything and nothing at all. Neither boy or neither girl, neither cat or neither vampire. Step number three. You broke. To be a VTuber, you have to have camera, microphone, PC and, of course, what a surprise, VTuber model. I don't think you have money to pay for all that. If you have, though, what are you doing here? You're not a loser. You have everything that I wished for. So... Either you're going to forget about your want to become a VTuber, either you're going to buy a lottery t- <laughs> I meant, <laughs> I meant create your own VTube model, yeah, of course, of course, not a lottery, not that. Step number four, draw the illustration for your model. Don't be shy, go wild, use any style that you like, or that you can though. Step number five, color it in. Illustration without color, boring illustration. Or maybe too innovative one. I think if you want so, you can skip this part. To make your model move, you have to have all your layers separated. Head, mouse, eyes, and all that stuff. So here's your number six, separate the layers. And please, don't be me who needed to redo all that because he did it, did it correctly. Watch some YouTube tutorial from the professional who really do know what they're doing. Don't be stupid like me. And the step number seven, which I want to explore more into the deep. I called it suffering because I did really suffer a lot making this to the model. I'm saying about the problems with the software like Knux, problems with the program itself. I also had to redo all my illustration because it just didn't work. And of course, the problem like uh, I didn't understood what am I supposed to do or how am I supposed to do what I want to do. I'm not the professional. I did never use the life to day cubism before ever in my life. So yeah, it was a big struggle for me. And of course, of course, of course, of course, the heat, which was just really annoying to deal with. If you did not regret your decision yet and want to carry on, then we move into the step number eight, which involves creating texture files and nets. I really don't know how it's called, so you can see that I'm not the best person to listen to. 
And if you want to make your own little model, I'm going to place a link down below to the really great tutorial which I used myself. So you can go and watch it! Of course, uh, after watching my video and having a bit of love. Thank you for staying with me. The next two steps is the rigging and physics, where we use deformers to... Yeah, I really don't understand what I'm doing here and uh, so I cannot explain it, so just watch, I guess. Sorry. And BAM! Is the end of my tutorial. Did you like that? Well, here's a small afterword. Even though it was a big struggle for me, I really loved that project, I really loved doing it. It was a great fun and I think it was pretty useful experience for me. And so, wait for the second part of how to be a VTuber if you are a total loser where I'm going to play with my model in VTube Studio. Thank you for watching! Bye!